Okay, moving along. There's been some changes to the way that um, automation, excuse me, that the arrangement view, there's been changes to the way that the arrangement view operates. A lot of the editing skills that you use have been further streamlined to make things even faster than ever before. So I have an arrangement here that I did earlier this morning that I will use as my test subject. Okay, first thing I wanted to show you, they've changed uh, a way that you can access viewing automation versus viewing your clips. You can see that our clips are now a nice beautiful color, the full thing. If I'm in my arrangement view and I hit the letter S, it zips everything up so that you can see it on screen. So if you have a lot of tracks, it makes it easier where you can see everything now. Go ahead and open these back up. If I want to see automation, I hit the letter A. It allows me to toggle between just working with the audio waveform and the MIDI versus seeing my different automation envelopes. So it just makes it a little bit easier. I'll go ahead and switch that back to the normal view. Okay, let's talk about a few of the different arrangement editing changes that they've made too. A lot of the, the basic commands that you've been used to working with, if you're Ableton user, um, are going to still be the same, but you're going to find that they've just streamlined things and made the workflow even easier than before. Let me show you what I mean. Um, Right here, I have a track of drums. Let's get that soloed out. Okay. If I put my mouse at the top of the clip, you'll see that there's now a hand. If I click on it, I can move the entire clip, move it left, right, wherever it needs to go. I'm gonna undo that. But if I move the hand below the middle of the clip, now I get an arrow. And this allows me to then click and drag and highlight areas to do all types of editing. Let me show you a few of the edits that I could do now. I'm going to highlight an area here. Let's say I just want the drums to drop right here. I just want it to drop out. With it highlighted, I can just hit the number zero. It's going to mute it out. And come back in. If you change your mind, select the clip, hit zero, and it's back in again. Okay, um, let's say I want to reverse it. In previous versions of Ableton, if you wanted to reverse audio in arrangement view, you would have to select the clip, double click on it, so it shows up in the clip detail view, and then you would hit this reverse switch. In Live 10, now all you have to do is just select the clip. If you just hit the letter R, instantly reverses it out. makes it really easy to um, do some cool edits. Now, another thing that they've changed about it is if I wanted to fade the edge of a clip, let's say here at the end of these drums, I want it to fade to silence. In previous versions of Ableton, I would have to go and locate the fades menu over here. Now, if I just hover my mouse over the clip, you'll see that there are Fade handles right there. There's one at the top. There's one in the middle to change the curve. There's even one at the bottom so you can change where it ends. And this is active all the time for all audio clips. This makes it a lot easier to work with. Let's see, a couple other basics here. Working with the loop bracket. In all previous versions of Ableton, 
excuse me, in the previous version of Ableton, if I clicked on um, a clip and I wanted to instantly get a loop for that section, I could hit Command and the letter L, and that would turn my loop icon on and snap the bracket to the selected area. Now, with the new one, still get that feature, but if you hit it again, you're able to turn it off. So you can just turn your loops on and off. Makes your life a little bit easier when you're editing. Let me see here. Another thing I want to share with you, this is pretty exciting right here. Um, this is a feature that allows us to time stretch audio inside arrangements. Let me turn the solo switch off for these drums and come down here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I have a sound right here. This is a, a sound I recorded of a conch shell. I made a conch shell trumpet down in the Virgin Islands, <laughs> and I used it on my last album. Here is um, what it sounds like right now. Now, right now, that sound has been stretched out a little bit. So it sounds a little grainy. If I wanted to put it back so it plays a little bit faster, I can now just go into the arrangement, go to the edge of the clip so I see that bracket, and hold down my shift key. When I hold down shift, the bracket now has a little arrow pointing towards it and allows me to time stretch the audio right there rearrange the way that the sound is going to fit on the track. There's all kinds of crazy ways we could put this to use, too. If I put this into repitch, every time I stretch it, it's going to change not only the timing, but the pitch of the sound. Now it sounds like one of those basketball horns, right? the basketball tournament. Stretch it back out a little bit and put it back into its normal mode complex. Yeah, so that one right there, um, combined with the ability to mute clips and reverse clips in the arrangement view, is going to open up the doorway for a lot of you for doing all kinds of creative editing, doing little glitchy fills, stretching sounds to just take a normal average sound and make it into something a little more unusual that's suited for your track. So some pretty exciting stuff right there. Um, that's a good one right there. I think you're going to like it. Okay, 